This is the PX10 Gaming Racing with V900 which I bought for almost $130. <laughs> it's come to the accelerator, brake and a steering wheel which has controls all over it. It has sections under it so we can place it anywhere, wherever we want. We actually need a PS4 controller to use it as it is not compatible for PS5 console. As you see, I have connected it successfully from the glass table. Now we will connect the USB cable with the PS4 with the PS5. As you see, the red icon is blinking. We have opened the controller and we will now select the account we have selected the account now we'll play crew 2 and let's see what happens next i have this the crew 2 cd which i bought for almost 30 dollars it comes with a battle pass which is known as the crew 2 battle pass will be take we will take out the CD from it and put it in our PS5 disc. We will press the PS button so it can get connected successfully. As you can see, it has linked. As you can see, there is a USB option at the third last option. As you can see the accessories option. Now we will say Crew 2 and let's see what happens. Select continue. As you can see, I press the accelerator and I'm you can see it is going. Now I have applied brakes. It has it is coming back. I will use the steering wheel and let you know if it works or not. As you can see, I'm using the steering wheel and it is moving with it. I'll, I have applied brakes and I'm using the steering wheel. This is how. You can connect your PS4 with the PXN V900 steering wheel. Most of the people you have watched on YouTube do not tell you correct. But in this video, I have 